it's day three of Vlogmas. Um, I feel like yesterday's vlog already had some improvements over the first day, so I'm hoping this one will again be better than the day before, and um, that we continue like that. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing some makeup today. Um, just had some fun playing around, and because I need to go out in public, I felt like wearing some makeup. Um, the lipstick failed a bit, but I like the rest of it. I tried um, shaping. It's a little heavier than I normally do, <laughs> but um, I like it. Um, I just had breakfast, um, got dressed and all that stuff, and then I need to hurry and do the dishes, get packing, because I'm heading to my parents' house. Um, the weather, I'm looking outside the window, it sucks. <laughs> um, but it's also still not cold enough really for knitwear, so, but I'm thinking I might just wear some hats and a scarf anyway and just melt, um, uh, because I want to. And I have a hat that I haven't worn yet. Uh, and I really want to. Let me show it. Wait. It's right here. This blue one, it's made out of hand spun yarn. It's uh, the 2x2 two two hat on Ravelry. I don't remember the designer, I'm sorry. But um, it's really, really comfortable. The yarn is super soft and uh, the colors are really cute. Um, so I think I'm gonna wear that today anyway. And because my hair isn't, it's a bit bleh, that will make it look a little nicer. But um, I'm gonna stop talking now and um, open my advent calendars for the day over on Instagram and I will include the clip here once again See you in a minute Happy 3rd of December. It's time to open up some more advent calendar baggies I'm starting with the tea again and um, Quick thing I noticed the teacups have different decorations on them. This one has a Sinterklaas mitre like the Sinterklaas hat Which is on the 5th of December and today's tea is Latte Macchiato. I'm not quite sure it's rooibos and that is not my usual favorite actually i usually avoid it but um i'm open to new things so i'm going to try it today with my mom because i'm going to save it until i get home and then the yarny one with a cute happy christmas uh snowman let me put it on my sweater over here and it won't open okay i couldn't get it open with one hand so here i am again and let's see out you go Ooh, that's a nice one that's gonna go really well it's a tweety like a uh, red with a pink undertone, very nice and soft again, and I'm looking forward to knitting with this. So I just opened my advent calendars and this is the mini for today. Um, a very nice red, uh, like I said in the little clip with a pink undertone and Tweety Flex in blue, green, yellow, uh, pink I think as well. And I think it's going to go very well in my blanket, but that brings me to a dilemma. I'm going to my parents' house for at least a week, um, which is why the rest of my advent calendar is living over there. I need to find some cute way of stringing it up. Oh, my arm's tired. <laughs> um, but um, my blanket, the part that I'm working on with these minis is kind of huge. And now I'm not sure what the best idea is. Do I bring it along and knit a square each day and then cart it back after a week? Um, because I'm probably going to be staying here another week and then I'll be returning home for Christmas again. Or do I just save the minis and not knit them until I get back? But I want to knit the minis. I really want to. That sounded really whiny. I know, I'm sorry. But um, I really want to knit one every day. It's fun. It gets me into the Christmas spirit and... Um, but the blanket is so huge and it's kind of heavy because each gra uh, each square takes about uh, a little less than five grams, I think. Um, the way I'm knitting them, anyway. Some of them take a little less, some of them take a little more, it depends on the yarn as well. But um, I have over 200 squares in that one half. And that weighs a lot. And if I bring it, because it's so big, I have to bring... Um, you can see the dishes there, that's what I'm going to be doing in a minute. Um, but I'll have to, it's basically an entire extra bag. And if I'm bringing it, oh my slippers are falling apart. <sighs> I'm so distracted this morning. My slippers have furry pom-poms on the back and it's falling off. I was expecting that to be honest, but <laughs> maybe I'll glue it back on. But um, yeah, I just don't know what to do. That's the hardest thing about packing. Um, I always feel like a mule because I'm dragging so much crap along. But, to be honest, most of it is always yarn and knitting, um, because I like to pack, uh, I think I had a stick on my teeth, ah, 
That's the one negative about bright lipsticks. Besides the fact that I really messed mine up this morning and it, oh, I wish I hadn't done it, but. Um, it doesn't make my teeth look nice and white. That's nice. <laughs> but um, that's one of the things about packing to go to your parents. I go quite often because I like spending time with my parents at their house and they have a fireplace, so hello. <laughs> and um, I don't have to cook if I'm there. It's, I, I do sometimes, but it's more of an exception than uh, the normal, I guess. But um, I always bring relatively little clothes and stuff like that, but then I overpack on random things that I don't really need technically so I'll be uh, I'm trying to debate I'm debating which yarn stuff to bring because I want to do a podcast this week as well so I need to bring all the finished objects um, I need to uh, bring whips and that's another reason I want to bring the blanket but I'm ugh, I just don't know what I want to bring today and I'm tired and everything hurts and that is not helping me make decisions because I really just, I had already wanted to be gone by now, but um, I was a bit slow, so that's what we got. Um, and I want to bring uh, new stuff to cast on because my current whip is almost done, uh, which is those mittens. I just have the, like, one more repeat and the top to do, and um, maybe lining. I'm kind of debating just leaving it out in these ones because they're just for the sample picture to show other color combinations. And I know already for the pattern how much yarn the lining takes and stuff like that. Uh, and I run hot, so I don't really always need lined mittens, and I already have a pair that I like as well. So I don't know. I'm just all over the place, just trying to decide what yarn to bring. I want to cast on um, knit hot pants. I bought yarn for that last week. Um, and to make things worse, there's a, yarn, a box of yarn waiting for me at my parents' house that always needs to come back with me. So I'm going to be carrying even more stuff when I come back. Um, I just don't know what I want to bring. I, I want to cast on some more things because I like switching projects, but then in reality I never do. I have the yarn all balled up already in a project bag for my Sunset Highway, which I really, really want to cast on. Um, but both for the hot pants and the essence at highway, I need to bring all the needle sizes. I want to cast on a hat. I need to cast on socks for Christmas gift. Um, I'm kind of debating adding another Christmas gift to my list. Oh, I just don't know. So I'm just going to do the necessities first. Take out the trash, do the dishes, pack the <laughs> truly necessary stuff like my medication and um, like asthma stuff and uh, thyroid stuff. Um, I need to take my B12 shot, which I'll just pack and do when I get there. I need to pack underwear and that sort of thing, some clothes. Um, and for the clothes, that's another thing. I'm just bringing hand knit clothes because those are also things I need to show on the podcast, like this sweater. This is my flax sweater. I recently finished my first official sweater. I've knit a few cardigans with varying degrees of success, but this is my first real sweater, like a pullover. And I've been wearing it like crazy. It's really comfortable. I used an acrylic wool cotton blend and oh, it's just perfect for this weather because it's not too hot, but it's not, it's nice and warm when I'm cold too. So, um, I'm bringing another sweater that I finished because I'm currently all about the sweaters and I'm loving it because I wanted it in my entire wardrobe. But, um, I mostly just want to bring yarn and I need to bring other stuff too and I'm going to be... I'm already tired and sore. I'm gonna have to cart everything with me and then I'm gonna be really tired and sore. Not exciting. But I'm gonna get to it because I am <sighs> pr procrastinating. I was gonna say something else. <laughs> uh, I, I, my, in the term, my head is procrastinating because that's usually the case, but that's not what I meant. But um, I'm gonna go do the dishes and uh, I'll probably check back in, in the train or something like that. Maybe once I've figured out what I'm taking yarn-wise. I will see you in a minute. Or not. Probably not a minute. It's going to take a while. Bye. So I'm all packed and everything. And uh, I missed my train. So now I have to wait 20 minutes for the next train. Because it's Sunday and the scheduling is poop. <laughs> so I'm just relaxing here on the couch and I think I'm just gonna squeeze in like 10 minutes of spinning. The one downside of that is that uh, spinning is addictive and after fit, like 15 minutes of spinning 
I'm gonna regret not having my spinning oil with me the entire week, <laughs> but I can't drink that with me as well. So, I'm kind of exhausted, so I'm gonna be glad when I get there. I'll try my tea for you, and today's probably gonna be a bit of a short vlog because I don't think I'm gonna be doing much else. Washing my face, putting on a face mask, and going to bed, basically. And food, good food. Um, yeah, just a bit of a slow travel day, I guess. So, that's that. Okay, so I'm not gonna miss my spinning wheel because we are not getting along today, so. <laughs> I, I'm, I spun for like five minutes and I managed to snap it uh, at least five times. Um, the fiber I'm using, um, I think it was like in the background of one of the previous vlogs, is very compacted, has been beat up, and I'm just not in the mood for it right now, so I'm giving up on the spinning. But now I have to find some way to spend my time. I have another ten minutes or so to wait, so... Blah. Maybe I'll uh, grab my e-reader out of my bag and just read for a bit. Okay, so I just got a new pajama and instead of being knitting crazy, I thought I should show this one off because the vlog is mostly about knitting because it's all about the sheep! And they're sleeping, which is appropriate. And my sister is filming and it's really awkward. But I just wanted to show my new pajamas. 